are you excited about doing the spotter award today? Oh, yes. What are we spotting? All sorts of things. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, so this award. Wait, wait. Yeah. do I need to go get my super spotter eyes on? Maybe that would be a good idea, yeah. Oh, let me go do that. Hold on, I gotta go find them. Okay, well, you're gone. I'm gonna tell the kids about the Goose Chase app. So kids, if you don't have the Goose Chase app, we want you to go ahead and make sure you have that downloaded because a lot of this award is gonna be done on that app. So you wanna go ahead and make sure that you have that app downloaded and it's gonna tell you all the different missions that you need to get started with this award. Hold on, I'm looking for them. I think they got lost in my closet. I'm having a hard time finding them without them on. Ta-da! I found them! Wow, those are great. What do you think? Those are spotter glasses, huh? Yes, yes, I use them anytime I need to find something important. Like my shoes. How does that work with that dark lens on there? It's tricky. <laughs> I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, so we talked about while you were gone, the fact that we need the Goose Chase app to get this. The Goose Chase app? The Goose Chase app. It's an app that lets us do a scavenger hunt together. Ooh, I like scavenger hunts. Do you know who else likes scavenger hunts? Who? My friend Louie. He does. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, you guys will be able to both do this scavenger hunt. So what's going to be on that goose chase app? Hey, Louie, get your spotter goggles on and come join this app with me. We're looking for things. I don't know what yet. I think, wait, what are we looking for? Yes, I, I don't was, know what I'm looking for. I was just going to tell you that. Oh, good. Yeah, okay, so. It's easier to find what you're looking for when you know what you are looking for. That's, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. true, yeah. yeah. So we need four different kinds of animals. Four? Yep. I have a cat. Perfect, your cat His is. His name is Smokey. I have a dog mm -hmm. named Sparky. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. Your cat, that would be a perfect example of an animal. So you would take a picture of that and upload it to the Goose Chase app. Oh, fun! Yeah, and then you need three other animals. Hmm. Um. Um. So you, okay. How about so, like a squirrel or... Louie has a pet squirrel. He does, huh? Yeah. Well, the goal is to be doing this separately. Oh. Right, because we're still not supposed to be quite so together yet. Got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you might have to find a wild squirrel. Okay. Or something else. But see what you can find. All right. Okay. I will look for wild squirrel. Okay. So four animals. Or they... cows. We have cows down the road. Cows would be perfect. Okay. Or a horse. Or... Nay. Or a sheep. Bah. Yep, any of those things. They all are animals. So Quack. any of those would be great. Yep, you've got Honk. it. So, animals. Oh, you're getting ahead of yourself because what? birds is a <gasps> different category. Oh, birds go in a different one. Yep, so you do need four different kinds of birds. Okay, so duck, geese, canary, right. robin. Oh, I've seen lots of robins in my front yard lately. That's how I know spring is coming. It's hard to tell sometimes. It's still snowing recently. I know, but so you're weird. right. The robins, those are a really good sign that spring is going to come. Eventually. And eventually, mm -hmm. sometime. So you need four different kinds of animals. You need four different kinds of motor vehicles. Ooh, so like a truck? Yeah, or a car. A car. Or... How about what about a boat? A boat with uh, a motor. A boat with a motor. It has to have a motor. It does have to have a motor. I have to check and see if it has a motor. Do you have a canoe or a motorboat? Um I I don't know. Oh. Um I have to check with my dad. Okay. Hold on. Well, I can check later. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So 
Oh, uh, also a tractor. Tractors. Oh, tractors. tractors. Tractors have motors. Oh, yeah. I have a good friend. His name is Micah, and he loves green John Deere tractors. That's a pretty good tractor brand. We've got lots of those around here. Yeah, you can see a lot of them around here in Vermont. You sure can. Mm -hmm. Okay, then this one's tricky. You need two different kinds of airplanes. Airplanes? Yeah. I don't have one of those in my backyard. Yeah, well, you have to look in the sky or maybe get a little creative. My spotter glasses don't see any either. Well, I don't see any right now either, but you have to keep looking. So maybe, hmm. okay, if you live near an airport, this is pretty easy. Hmm. Maybe a hot air balloon or what else has a motor that flies? Not hot air balloons. No, but, it, um, but a hot air balloon is an aircraft. Oh, 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 oh. My friend Kenzie, her dad has a drone. Yes, a mm -hmm. drone. That would be mm -hmm. a, a kind of it air, flies. airplane if okay. we're stretching the limits a little. Mm. That's perfect. So use your imagination, particularly if you live where we do, and it's kind of hard to find airplanes in the sky. That is true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But two different kinds of airplanes. Okay. And then what's next? You need four different nature items. That seems pretty easy around here. Yes. I mean, you step outside and there's grass and clouds and trees and some flowers are being brave and braving the snow. Yeah, any of those things. So take pictures of four different nature items. Oh, yay. Okay. We'll be able to see what everybody chose to take a picture of. I can't wait to see what everyone else comes up with. That's going to be really fun. And then we talked about it, but then there's four different kinds of birds. Okay, So yeah. those, those are all the cool things that you're supposed to be taking pictures of. Do you think they need spotter glasses too? I bet most kids have some spotter glasses at home of some kind or another. Oh, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if they'll be as, good, as cool as yours, though. Mine are pretty cool. Yours are, yours are amazing. Yes, they pink are. Pink is my favorite color. It is. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Yeah. Um, that's good. So the next thing we need to do is we need to find, and it says observe. That's going to be a little tricky right now, but observe three of the following people in uniform. So um, a policeman or a nurse or a fireman or a postman or an ambulance worker or a librarian. They're not really in a uniform, but We'll take them, too, because they're pretty important. Okay. So, you know, I haven't seen a lot of them running around the streets lately. I haven't either, but what we can do is we're going to say you can either take a picture of one of those people or you can take a picture of your police station. Oh, or, I know where that is. Or okay. a police car. Oh, or, cool. A sign that says police on it or a sign that says fireman on it. Any of those things. Something that helps you maybe even just find where those people would be if you needed them. Okay. Okay. I know how to do that now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. So those are, all of those things are going to be on the Goose Chase app. So there's a lot on there for this award. There's a lot of goose chasing in here. There sure is mm -hmm. a lot of goose chasing. But maybe you can find a goose to put on the Goose Chase app. That would be fun. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to read and explain what Matthew 28, 20 means. Do you want to do that with me? Yeah. Okay, let, mm -hmm. me, let me hold the Bible up for you. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Um, it says, you said Matthew, yep, yep, that's yep. in the New Testament. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Yep, Matthew. 28 yep. to 8 and 20. That's 2, 0. Okay. Teach them to obey everything, everything I have commanded you. 
and you can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. Oh, I like that. Isn't that a great mm -hmm. verse? Yeah. yeah. Matthew 28, 20. What do you think that tells us about spotting things? Um, That's that kind of... Jesus makes pretty good spotter glasses? Mm, I don't think so, but I do think it tells us that Jesus is with us always. Oh, um, yeah. And we don't have to go looking for him, do we? No, he's always there. I don't need to have my spotter glasses on to have him near me. Right. Mm -hmm. He lives in our hearts, and he will always be there to the very, very end of the world. That's what that verse says. Isn't that cool? I like that verse. I like that mm -hmm. verse, too. Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to think about our churches and what are things that we might be able to do to help keep them clean or looking neat or those kinds of things? Um, and that's kind of funny right now because we're not really in church right now. At least we're not here in Vermont. No. Yeah. So we're not even kind of there. But what are some things that you could do when we get back to church? Um, well, I have a little brother... And he likes to bring snacks in with him. And sometimes the goldfish end up on the floor. And so I help my mommy pick them up before we go. That's a great mm -hmm. idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about when you have potluck, making sure you take care of your plate and your fork? Oh, yeah. That away? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. What's mm -hmm. something you might be able to do now for your church that might be helpful. Do you have any ideas? Mm, well, um, well, I've been making lots of crafts this weekend, and I was thinking I could send some of them to some of the people who might be lonely. That would be a really good idea. Remember that we've got lots of people in our churches that maybe don't have kids to keep them entertained. And so... We could send them notes or call or just check and see if they need any help. Those are all really good things to do. That sounds nice. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. So, those are some things that we could do to help spot in our church, look for messes and help clean them up. Um, okay. Or look for okay. people that are in need of help and help them. Okay. All right. Here's the next one. This one says, Look at your room. So picture your room. Um, and okay, I got it. Got it. Is is it got is it a little messy? Um a little might yeah. be an understatement. So I want I've you... been spending a lot of time there with the The virus. Yeah. Yeah. You doing some homework in your room? Yeah, I it's it's my classroom, and it's where I sleep, and it's my playroom when mom's trying to make dinner. A lot of time spent in my room. It's a little messy. So what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and draw a picture of your room as it looks right now. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. Dirty socks and all? Dirty socks and all. Okay. M messy Hold bed on. and all. Hold on. Shh. Okay, that I got is, it. That is the fastest picture I've ever seen in my life. I'm a fast drawer. I guess so. Okay, then this one's going to take you a little bit longer. You can do this later. I want you to go clean your room. <gasps> and maybe tomorrow would be a good day to do it, Sunday. I want you to go clean your room and then draw a second picture and color it. I bet it will take me longer to clean my room than it took me to draw my dirty room. I think you're probably right. So, and then I want to be able to see those pictures. So you'll be able to post those for me. Where? On the Google Classroom page. On the, oh, okay. Yeah, on the Google Classroom page. Uh, it's going to be in the quiz. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
I can do that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So you're going to go to Google Classrooms. Okay. And in there, there's you're going to go to the Spotter Award, and there's a mm -hmm. quiz there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in that quiz, one of the questions is for you to send me a picture of your room. Okay. Cool. The picture of my room or the picture of the drawing of my room? Yeah, the picture of the drawing of your room. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want to see. You're okay. right. Okay. Okay, good. And then here's the last thing that we have to do, and this one's going to be a little tricky. I have a picture of 15 items, and I want you to look at it for two minutes and then write down or tell one of your parents what you remember Ooh. after the two minutes, okay? So you have to just look at Good it. Good thing I have my bright pink spotter glasses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. So I'll have you look at that picture for two minutes, then I'll take okay. it down, and you're okay. going to either tell a parent or write down all the things that you remember. Okay. okay? Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> puppy dog. Good. I remember that because I have a puppy dog named Sparky. Oh, good. And there was a tent, and I remember that because I slept in a tent last night. Okay, good. And it was dark, so I brought a lantern, and there was a rocket ship. I had a dream about a rocket ship last night. We went back in time in the rocket ship to see the dinosaurs. You know what? Let's do this. What? Let's say goodbye to the kids, and then you can keep telling me about your story of all the things you found. Okay. Okay? So we're going to wait, and we're going to see all the things that you guys post on the Goose Chase app. Make sure you do your quiz, and we'll be really, really excited to see it when you get all done. Okay? Okay, that sounds good. All right, see you later, guys. Bye-bye.